is there actually a proper way to transition between plank and down dog? And perhaps the bigger question is, is as you move from one pose to another, are you really setting yourself up for success when you finally get into that pose? Stay tuned because exploring the transition between plank and down dog is exactly what we're gonna do right now. Hello magnificent human beings, my name is Landon Slaughter and this channel is all about fixing the kinks in your practice by deepening your knowledge so you can create a truly transformative experience for yourself. Today I would like to share with you how I transition between plank and down dog. Now if you're not super comfortable with some of the alignment aspects of plank and down dog then there'll be a couple of interactive cards that will pop up here so you can explore those postures better. I'm going to share with you some of the things I think about in my personal practice as well as some of the strategies I use while instructing a class. But first, we need to look at what to avoid. You may have fidget feet syndrome where you're constantly second guessing where to put your feet after you make this transition. You may be looking up when you come into down dog, and this habit is usually formed when you first start learning yoga. You look up to the teacher for guidance because you wanna see how they do it. Okay class, coming into downward facing dog. You gonna demonstrate this? Oh. Don't push back into down dog. Now I'm super guilty of saying this in my classes because it's kind of the easiest way to get people to move from plank into down dog. Instead of pushing back, it may be better to encourage students to lead with your tailbone instead. And speaking of what we should be doing, let's look at a few tips on the actual transition right now. Step number one, solid plank alignment. And this may mean coming slightly more forward than you're used to. Shoulders slightly beyond those wrists, high on those toes, and your core is gently engaged. Step two, lead with your tailbone. Please lead with your tailbone as you come into downward facing dog. That lifting and raising is one of the most important parts of down dog. And if you think about pushing too much, you may have a little bit of some unnatural rounding in your spine. Step three, keep your knees soft. Keeping your knees soft, as in not locked, will really help you to lift that tailbone. And also it gives you something to strive for in your down dog. Stay forward in your plank, lead with your tailbone, and keep your knees soft. And now that we know how all of this works, let's look at making it fancy. By now we know not to look up as you come into down dog. In other words, we need to relax our neck and not look up. Because this habit can be so hard to break, I've come up with a perfect solution to help keep your neck relaxed as you do this. You're going to need a frozen pizza. Simply remove the pizza from the plastic wrap and place it about two thirds of the way up on your mat. Now, when you push back into down dog, you'll have that motivation to keep your neck long and close to the mat. Smell the frozen pizza. Let the aroma and the prana of the pizza seep deep into your neck and relax those muscles. This is a very powerful technique, and if you use a fully cooked pizza, then the aroma and the prana coming off of the pizza may be too strong, your neck would relax too much, and you could end up damaging that throat chakra. But if you're very advanced and want to modify, I would recommend using cold leftover pizza and then moving up to fresh hot pizza. Hey YouTube family, I have two important things to tell you. First is, I have a 25 minute flow designed all around this transition between plank into down dog, so you can help program this into your body and into your daily practice, and that's coming up next. And secondly, most importantly, look in the description below. I have a free seven day course that talks about transforming your practice, and one of those days is all about downward facing dog. So if you want to take your practice even further, then that is an excellent resource for you. And as always, please subscribe. I'm Landon Slaughter, helping you fix the kinks in your practice by deepening your knowledge so that you can create a truly transformative experience for yourself. I'll see you next time. Namaste.